Ricky Johnston, and welcome to AJ Asks. Nice to meet you, AJ, and um, thanks for inviting me. So, first of all, can you start by explaining what leukemia is? Sure. So, leukemia is cancer of the blood cells, it's mainly the cancer of the white blood cells, which are the immune cells in the body. How is your research meant to help improve the treatment of leukemia? So my lab is interested in understanding how leukemia is caused in the first instance by the genetic changes that occur within those cells and then trying to identify um, new therapies that specifically target those changes that occur within that particular cancer. So we're interested in this whole idea of personalised medicine. So I was treated for AML in 2012. What changes has there been since then to AML typing, diagnosis and treatment? Yeah, so there's been a lot since then. So the way that your leukaemia was typed was really around the type of cells that were involved. Increasingly, what we're starting to do is classify leukaemias based on the genetic changes that are involved in the, in the production of those cancers. So this is getting back to my whole idea about personalised medicine. So what we are doing now in the laboratory is sequencing the DNA of the leukemias, understanding the genes that are specifically mutated, and now starting to classify leukemias, not based on how the leukemia looks like or what what cell is involved, but actually of the genetic changes that occur. And then linked to that, rather than um, standard chemotherapy, which I'm sure you would have received, we're more interested now in trying to develop targeted therapies. And these targeted therapies are specific for the genetic changes that are involved in that cancer. And in this way, we hope that we have better outcomes for patients uh, and just as importantly, less side effects. What does epigenetic mean? So epigenetics is really not about the DNA per se, but about how the genes are switched on or switched off. DNA is basically the blueprint for, for everything that our cells make and everything that they do. And really what the DNA is there for is to produce mRNAs like the, the photocopy page, if you like, from the genome. Within our genome, um, we have about 20,000 genes, so around 20,000 mRNAs. Now, those genes need to be switched on and off, okay, at the right time and in the right way, the right amount. So epigenetics relates to the turning on or off that really that that fine tuning of our genes. So what do epigenetic changes and epigenetic based agents mean then? Normal white blood cell might have a specific gene that's that's switched on to this amount. But in the cancer cell from that white blood cell, the cancer from that white blood cell, the gene may be on this high. And that that increase in gene expression or that that increase in activity acts as a bit of an Achilles heel for for the cancers because now they've got something that's different to the normal cells. So we've got drugs that can now bring the expression of that gene back down to normal levels and normalize it. And that's where the epigenetic therapies come in. Have you ever started a research project and then discovered that you had to restart at the beginning? Yeah, unfortunately, it happens quite a lot. And that's part of science. You know, science is what's called hypothesis driven, right? You come up with an idea and you test it. And sometimes the hypothesis isn't right or the results don't quite lead you down the path that you thought that you were going to be led. So you might have to circle back or change your hypothesis a bit and then test that. And we don't get, you know, sort of downhearted by that at all. We, we learn from it and then we get excited and then come up with a new idea and test that again. That sounds like a really good mindset to have. Oh, it's awesome. You know, I wake up, AJ, I wake up every day and I come to work. I'm going to learn something new, something I didn't know when I went to sleep that night because that's, that's science, that's discovery science. Finally, if you could design your own kids' cancer project bear, what would it be? Oh, that's an interesting one. Well, given what I've been doing lately with my, you know, exercise and things, maybe it'd be a running bear. You know, I put them in the sort of the running shorts and the nice, you know, running singlet, put a little peak hat with the Kids Cancer Project on the top. Yeah, and it could even have like a number on its back. Like in Absolutely. America, like how they have numbers and stuff. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. So I'd like to thank you for coming on to AJR's today. It's been a pleasure having you. AJ, thanks. It's been fun. Great to talk to you.
Do you have any questions you'd like asked? Leave them in the comments below and they could come up in future episodes of AJ Asks.